Yay! Yay! Wait, what? No, 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 no! Alright, so Minty Sting Moon asked me, I want to see a Pac-Man video just to see how you would fare. <laughs> oh, I hate you so much, Binty. But this one's for you. Okay, whoo, Pac-Man, the Pac-Man, the Pac-Kitty, Pac-Attack, Pac-Pac-Pac, the bringers of Wakas, that is him. And I gotta say, I am 100% bad from bad to so, 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 so bad with Pac-Man, you would not believe. And good lord, I was wondering about buffs and nerfs recently of the Smash characters, you know? Because let's be honest, Pac-Man, who is like an F tier right now, could use a few buffs. I mean, because when you think back in the, the good old days, when a fighting game came out and people never had a patch, you know? So when your character was OP, he was OP for his entire existence, you know? It was done. It was, thank you so much, case is closed, this character is way too freaking strong. Have a nice day, people. This is gonna be all for me. Tip your waitresses. And it's, it was fine, because people were like, okay, this is how, this is the rule of the games, and this is how we're gonna play, and that's perfectly good. The nerfs, when you think of it, the, are both a blessing and a curse. Because when you think of the, back in the early days of, uh, of Smash 4, the hoo-ha, Anybody who's played Smash 4, Smash 4 knows what it is. For the people who do not know and are actually watching this video, the hoo-ha was a simple Diddy combo that was very, very efficient. Basically, it was grab the grab your opponent, uh, use a down grab, then jump, then up air, then jump, then up air, and it was either just a ton of easy damage to do or a kill. You could actually kill with that thing, and it was super easy to land because it was just a grab. And then an up air, which is not hard for anybody. And that's the thing. A lot of people, the big problem with the hoo-ha, because if the game was like frozen in time and it was like, well, you gotta learn how to deal with the hoo-ha now, this is gonna be the future of Smash 4, people would have learned. Of course, Diddy would have been the uncontested champion of Smash 4 and top tier for like all the time. But people would have tried to learn. They were like, okay, I gotta not get grabbed by Diddy, which which does sound, is actually a lot harder than you think because Diddy's fast, Diddy's grab is actually really good, uh, like good range, uh, not too much lag, and he's, he's good. <laughs> but yeah, and people would have learned, people would be, maybe I should go for a more zoning character, maybe I should go for a character that's not a big hitbox, maybe I should go for a character that can grab Diddy before he does, or all that stuff, because the thing about grabs is there's like a rock, paper, scissor scenario in Smash, where uh, if you... It's very simple. It's like if you it's shield, grab, and attacks. Attacks beat grabs, grabs beat shield, shield beat attacks. So if somebody attacks you, you shield, and then you're like, ha ha ha, I shielded you. What you're gonna do now is like, oh, you defeated my master plan. And of course, did he got the nerf? We we all know the story. Did he got nerf bad, but not so bad because he's still top tier. And people were pretty freaking happy about it. And that's a good example of nerf when something. You know, because the, the hoo-ha was not something hard to do, it was super, super efficient, and there was no other character that could do anything close, even remotely, and to do it so, so simply. That, that's the thing, it was so simple. Anybody could grab you, down smash, and then up here, like, hoo-ha! And then came Bayonetta and Cloud and all the other characters who, let's be honest, Bayo was way too strong at the start. She, she got nerfed a lot and all that stuff, and she still is, some people would say too strong, some people say just strong enough to be top tier, but still, because she doesn't win that much tournaments. And that's the big thing about the buffs, and the, the nerfs in Mayo. Mayo? <laughs> yep, nerf the Mayo, man. The nerfs in Bayonetta. Because could we just simply learn about the matchup? Because while... While Bayou is definitely really strong, there, there's nobody who's gonna say like, no, Bayou's not strong, you're, you're just bad at the game, uh, uninstall and play something else. She's strong, no contest. Was she that strong and that easy? That's the big thing. Was she that easy that she was a problem? Because the hoo-ha was way too easy, so it was a problem. And uh, every, I think everybody's glad that the hoo-ha was nerfed. But the fact that if Bayou, and I think she's still gonna be nerfed, because I think in Ultimate they're gonna nerf her again, which I think is fine. 
then again, maybe we could have just learned, because Bayo, compared to the Uha, had a lot less time to be analyzed and to be countered. <laughs> the, the, the only thing I saw most of the time with Bayo is like, well, you're gonna nerd to DI, man, you know, di directional, uh, directional influence, that DI. Basically, it's when you get hit, you can actually choose where you wanna, like, change your direction of how you get knocked back. DI. Directional influence. That is, anyway. And that was the only cut of the people were like, well, if you get hit by Bayo, you gotta do that. And that's because people didn't try to learn. They, they got into that lazy state of mind where it's just, if I meet a problem, instead of actually trying to learn about it and overcome it and, you know, adapt, I can just whine enough and whine strong that somebody's gonna listen, somebody important, and somebody's gonna change my problem, somebody's gonna, gonna get rid of them for me. Which, as I said, sometimes is the right thing to do when the problem is impossible or when the problem is way too obvious or when the problem becomes the entire game. But when the problem is simply your own problem, you know, it's your it's your own lack of skill that's the problem. Then we don't need a buff, we don't need a nerf. But still, buff, uh, please Nintendo, buff uh, Pac-Man's range. <laughs> buff Pac-Man's grab, please. That's how I'm gonna end this. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a nice day and uh, stay packy. <laughs>